Are you excited about using Logic? I am. Let's start by finding Logic where I've installed it on my hard drive. And that is on the hard drive itself in the Applications folder. Right down here, we'll find Logic, right where it should be in the L section. So to launch Logic, just double click it. While we're going through the startup sequence, I'm gonna close this Finder window. And you know what? I'll go down to my dock and just drag my Logic icon along a little bit. This way, when I quit Logic, it's always going to be in my dock right here the next time I come back to use it. Okay, but back to the task at hand. Right now, we're looking at the new window and quite literally, it is called the new window. This window lets you choose a template to use as a basis for your song creation inside Logic. There's lots of different templates on offer and you know what? I'm not really gonna go through all of them. It's really up to you to decide what style of music you create and try the one that's applicable. To show you how to use Logic, I'm gonna start right at the beginning with a plain vanilla project, or that's an empty project with no tracks. Well, did I say no tracks? Actually, what I meant to say is you have to have at least one track. And that fact is driven home by this sheet that appears every time you create a new empty project. It's the new tracks sheet, and it allows you to choose how many and what type of tracks your project will have. I'm gonna start with just one audio track. By default, my format's set to mono, but I could choose to make it a stereo track or a surround track. I can also choose the input that's used to record onto the track and the output that the track will play through. All of this stuff may seem a little intimidating right now, but don't worry, as we go through the training program, you'll learn what all of these channels represent. And I should also point out, all of these things can be changed later. That's the beautiful thing about Logic, it's fully customizable. 